Although we all too frequently take proper brake operation for granted, brake-related problems do occasionally arise. Unexpected brake locking in your car can result in hazardous circumstances. The simplest definition of lock-up brakes is any circumstance in which the brakes of a car are applied, but they do not release as intended. In any case, this is a dangerous situation, but it can get even worse if it happens while you're driving. In the worst circumstances, this could lead to a wreck. Watch the video to find out what causes brakes to lock up while driving, what to do if it happens to you, and how to fix it to prevent it from happening again. But just before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. What causes brakes to lock up while driving? Brake lockups still happen occasionally, even though it is far less common than it was in the days before the adoption of modern ABS brakes. Brake system components that are significantly worn out or otherwise compromised are the root cause of the great majority of these problems. The most frequent reasons why a car's brakes lock up while you're driving are listed below. Using the wrong kind of brake fluid and overheated parts of the brake system, worn out or damaged calipers, rotors, and brake pads, worn out or damaged wheel cylinders, shoes, and brake drums, and putting on the emergency brake by mistake, seized or stuck brake caliper or wheel cylinder, how to fix. It is critical to identify the underlying cause of brake lockup incidents after they occur. Frequently, this involves carrying out an extensive visual examination. The front and rear brakes of a car should be examined for indications of uneven wear and component damage before putting the impacted vehicle back in service. Any flaws found during this inspection should be fixed. A burnt smell and abundance of brake dust or bluing of the brake rotor or drum associated with the offending brake assembly are frequently indicators of the offending brake assembly. All brake parts at that wheel end should be replaced if any indications of this kind are found. Furthermore, it may be desirable to replace the identical parts at the other wheel end of the same axle. Brake pads on a single axle should, at minimum, always be changed in pairs. In severe situations, the wheel bearing of the affected wheel end may be compromised by overheating brought on by brake lockup. This calls for the need for further replacement. When possible, the first brake test should be carried out in a remote area like a parking lot or driveway after all repairs have been completed. If everything seems to be working as it should, a more extensive test drive on a local road can be undertaken. If more problems appear at any point during your test drive, stop driving so that they can be further examined. Seek professional advice if, for any reason, you are unsure about fixing your car's brakes after a lockup incident. Choosing a professional repair or getting a second opinion is not a sign of weakness. After all, the efficiency of the braking system in your car saves your life.